As of iOS 2024.1 in January, Home Assistant is now available on Apple CarPlay. You can use it for actions, which are custom automations that you can also use with Apple Watches, controlling different devices and entities based on their type. And this includes buttons, lights, and switches. And you can also view your devices based on the area. And finally, you have the ability to quickly switch between multiple servers as configured in your app. Make sure you have the latest version of Home Assistant and iOS to get started. Once you're in your car, connect your iPhone and navigate to CarPlay. I'm using a Mazda. You'll see the Home Assistant icon on the side or swipe until you find it. Tap on it to open it up. The first screen that you'll see is for actions. If you don't have any actions that you've created before for your watch, I'll take you through the steps to create a basic action. Let's create a custom action to use as a quick automation. First open up Home Assistant on your phone, then go to settings. Tap on the companion app, and this is only available through the phone. Tap on actions. Let's add the first action. Tap on add, then select the newly created action. Select a simple name. The name is important as you will use it later to link to the automation. I'm gonna call this light. Pick the text you want to see on the action. In this case, I'm going to call it front light. And then select an appropriate icon. I'll look for the light icons and then select the globe light. On the screen, it shows the event type is ios.action underscore fired and action name is light. Tap on save and then go back a screen. Then tap done. Okay, now we need to add a linked automation. Go to Automations and Scenes, then Create Automation, and then Create New Automation. Select Add Trigger, and then we're going to search for Event. Select Manual Event. Under the Event Type, use the details we saw on the previous screen which was ios.action underscore fired. And under event data, type action name with a capital N, colon, and then light in quotation marks. Now we need to select what this automation is going to do. Go down to add action. And in this case, I want the light to toggle. Select light, and then select toggle. Now select the device and the light that you want to trigger. In this case, I'm going to choose a Yi light, which is on my front door. Okay, and when you're done, select save and name the automation. And in this case, I will name it Front Light Action. Okay, now let's try this from the car. If I select the action, you can see on the phone screen that the front light status changes. If I push it again, it toggles. Actions are one way to have quick predefined automations, but you can also select the control tab and select the light from the device type list and then toggle the light from there. Depending on the different devices you have configured, there will be more options such as buttons and switches. The other tabs include areas, which allows you to view your devices based on their area, and servers, which allows you to toggle between Home Assistant instances that are configured on your app. And that's it. I can see some interesting use cases with toggling garage doors, turning off alarms, and turning on lights as you come home. I look forward to playing with this a bit more. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.